Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. Today's video is a super special one because I was actually invited to be a part of an amazing Secret Santa YouTube collab with a bunch of other amazing tumbler makers and so in today's video I'm gonna be creating a cup for a very special person not only am I excited to show you guys the cup that I created but I also want you guys to check out all of the amazing tumbler makers who are a part of this very special secret Santa so don't forget to check out the description down below for all of their information and check out all of the videos that have been posted so far so before we get started let's check out really quickly who I was chosen to create a tumbler for Merry Christmas. Hey, welcome to this Christmas collab of YouTuber Tumblr makers. Today, oh, uh oh, I feel like I'm a little underdressed. Give me, give me one second. Ho, 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 hey, that's better. Santa sent me to personally invite you to be one of his secret Santas. What? He even sent his magic bag with a present in it just for you. In this box, Santa has selected another YouTuber Tumblr maker for you to make a tumbler to and give it to on Christmas. What? So let's see who you got. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You're gonna love it. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. You get to make a tumbler gift for, are you ready? Are you, are you, are you sure? Are you ready? Four. Hi everyone. So as always, we are going to begin this video like we do every other video by prepping our cup. And so the tumbler that I decided to work on is a 30 ounce um, skinny straight from Craft Haven Tumblers. Um, and as always, you can find everything that I'm going to be using in this video linked in the description down below. So I'm just using this uh, 220 grit sandpaper just to kind of scuff up the base and then I'm wiping it down with 91% alcohol. Next thing we're going to do is prep the base of my cup also by painting. And so I'm going to be using this apple barrel paint in the color white. And I'm also using this Wet n Wild makeup brush to help spread that paint all over the base of my cup. Now, because we're starting with a stainless steel base, we're going to need to go in with two, two coats of paint on this cup. Um, so the first coat I'm spreading on nice and thin, but trying to make sure that the coverage is even all the way around. And then I'm going to use my heat gun to dry it up. Once that's dry, we're going to go in with the second coat and we will apply our glitter to the cup while the paint is still wet. So now that the paint is on, we're sprinkling our Dream, which is a fine mix glitter, an opalescent glitter. And I chose this one because I thought it gave off the perfect wintry, snowy effect. So I'm sprinkling that all over the base of my cup. We're going to let that dry on the paint and then we're going to take it outside to seal in all of that glitter. So to seal in the glitter, I'm using this polycrylic ultra clear spray. I'm going to go in with about one to two good coats of this sealant just so that everything stays in place and we're going to let that dry. Now we're moving on to the water slide, which I printed on my inkjet printer. I let that ink fully dry and now I'm going to do about three to four good coats of this same spray paint, the polycrylic ultra clear sealant. Make sure you're allowing each coat to fully dry before going on to the next. So now that we're working on prepping our water slides, we're also going to begin adding resin to our cup. And for this cup, I went in with two coats of resin, which is Counterculture DIY Artist Resin. The first layer, which is the one that you're seeing here, is 30 mLs. And the second layer that was done off camera was about 15 to 20 mLs. I just wanted to make sure that we had a really nice, solid, and smooth base for when we are ready to apply our water slide. So now we're ready to apply our water slide, but before we begin, I'm going to quickly clean off the top rim of my tumbler. Uh, I'm just going in with a craft knife 
just to remove any excess resin that may have cured on top of the rim and then shown off camera i went in with a sanding block just to quickly sand any little sharp bits that may be on the top i made sure not to sand the base of my cup because we're going to be applying clear water slide and we want to make sure that our base is nice and shiny or it will look dull under the water slide if you sand it you will be able to see all those sand lines so make sure that your base is nice and shiny before you apply your clear water slide so we're actually going to be trimming off the top of our water slide here um, just so you guys know i purchased this image off of a seller on etsy and all of her information will be linked down below i'm going to be doing a half wrap on this cup so this specific image will not be going fully around the the entire cup it's only going to be going about halfway around the cup so in this next clip, I'm going to show you guys how I kind of measure how much of the image I want on the cup. So I'm just placing this image around the cup to kind of see where it lays right now at the size that it is. And then I'm just looking to see, okay, what area am I going to cut off? Because I really love this collage and I was like, I don't want to cut off any image of <laughs> that's going to like remove any characters or anything like that from the cup. So um, I kind of just went in and eyeballed how much I wanted to cut off. If you wanted to, you could be super specific, grab a ruler and measure you know how much you want to cut off but i kind of just eyeballed um the space was about an inch and a half i would say um so yeah that's what i'm doing right now we're just going to take a ruler make sure it's lined up really straight and then i'm taking a craft knife and i'm just trimming along that ruler and i'm doing that really gently and slowly so i don't make any mistakes and cut anything else off yeah i'm just tossing that to the side so now it's time to apply our water slide and for this part um it's always a little bit nerve-wracking when you're applying a full sheet for me anyways so i'm testing again to make sure where i'm going to apply my water slide and i have a basin of water it's warm water and i'm going to just submerge the sheet in the basin and start to apply it on the cup so once your paper is submerged into the water it should only be a few minutes before you be start to see your image lifting off the back of your water slide paper. Now I'm using water slide paper from Hayes Paper Co. I really love their water slide paper. It's worked well for me and I've never had any issues. So if you wanna check them out, we do have a discount code that is sugar and spice with them. You can also find that discount code in the description down below as well. So once I start to see that the image is beginning to lift off the backing, um, I pull it out of the water and we're gonna start to kind of maneuver that image off of the backing sheet a little bit more um now i am gently trying to continue to move that image off and as you can see when i was trying to like pull it forward it started curling under so if that happens to you just dip it in the water like i did and it will kind of loosen up that uh, end of the sheet there and i'm just going to continue to lift that sheet off just to get a little bit of that water slide image attaching to the cup now once that's on there the rest is pretty easy peasy um, it's also a lot easier because we're doing half a cup and not a full sheet cup um, i do think a full sheet water slide is a bit harder um, but it's not impossible but yeah once we get that edge on there you can see it's just it really nicely just pulls up and we have a nice flat image now i'm going to just take my hand in the water and kind of smooth out make sure everything's nice and straight and then i'm going to begin going in with my silicone tool just to really smooth out those edges make sure that there aren't any air bubbles under there or any wrinkles and um yeah, that's it. Pretty much the rest here is just me smoothing out the image and making sure that everything looks good. So here's where I grab my silicone tool and I'm going to just gently um, squeegee the entire image onto the cup. This is just making sure that there aren't any water bubbles or any wrinkles and everything is laid down nice and flat i go back and forth between the tool and my fingers just to make sure again that everything is laid down nicely and we don't have any bubbles or wrinkles 
Once I'm done with that part, I go in with a lint-free paper towel and I just start to clean off any excess water that's on my image and on the cup. I like to let my water slides dry fully overnight, so that's what I did. And now we're going to come back after the cup is nice and fully dry, and we're applying another decal to the opposite side of the cup. So I'm not sure if the artist of this actual image is the same one that created the collage that we applied before, uh, but either way, I will have the uh, link to where I got them from in the description down below. I did get both of these images on Etsy, so you can find the information for that in our description. So we're just going to apply this image to the opposite side of the cup for where we had the wrap. And I'm just wetting the base of my cup similar to the same thing I did with the opposite side and pretty much how I apply all of my water slide images. Um, you just want to make sure that you wait for that backing to begin, uh, the front of the image to begin to lift off the, the backing of your sheet. That's how you know it's ready. Um, and then we're just going to apply that onto the cup, similar to how we did the wrap. Um, it's always a little bit easier to apply simple images like this. So I just kind of hold the image down with my right hand and slide the backing off with my left. So we're just going to make sure that the image is centered and it's nice and even. Um, and then we're going to just squeegee out any water bubbles and make sure everything is nice and even and there aren't any wrinkles. Then we're going to just let this dry overnight. So now we are pretty much at the halfway point of the completion of this cup we got our water slide images on and we're gonna let them dry and we're gonna seal them in using a quick coat sealer from counterculture diy so i went and put my cup on the turner so that i can apply my quick coat sealer and similar to how i've done in previous videos i'm going to apply this quick coat um you know thinly and evenly all around the entire cup really wanted to make sure that these images were sealed in nicely so that we had a, a really good sealed in base for our resin. So I didn't like how the silicone tool was spreading out the quick coat. So I decided to just throw on a glove and smooth it out with my fingers. And you can see that it's starting to really smooth on better with my finger than it was with the silicone tool. So that's how I ended up spreading the quick coat all over the cup. So once I was done spreading that all around, we're gonna let this dry for about an hour or two and then go in with our resin. So now it's time to apply our top coat of resin on top of our water slide. And I'm going in with about 30 mLs of counterculture DIY. I wanted to make sure that we had a really nice layer on here um, just so that we can quickly move on to the next step. So we're gonna smooth that on, let that cure, and then we'll be back with the next step. So now that coat of resin is cured, we can see we have a really beautiful shiny finish on top of that water slide image. And next thing I wanted to do with this cup is kind of go in with a power wash. I had an idea to create kind of like a snowy, icy effect on the backside of the cup. So opposite of where we have the collage. So I'm going in with my two inch painter's tape and I'm covering that collage side of the cup. I, I really did not want any spray paint to get on that side. I really just wanted to focus on the other side where the quote is. And so I'm gonna go in with a few paste, pieces of tape and just kind of block off that image so it stays nice and clean.
Now we're moving on to the power wash technique. I have my Dawn power wash ready and I'm going to be using two different colors of spray paint. I'm going to be going in with this flat white spray paint and then I'm also going to be going in with this beautiful blue spray paint as well. Now I'm going to be kind of layering them both on top of each other but first thing we're going to do is apply the Dawn power wash and I really wanted to make sure that our quilt was nice and covered because I didn't want any spray paint to get on there. So I'm focusing on really um, building up that power wash and then kind of letting the rest of the power wash fall on top of the cup. Um, we're going for a really heavy snowy icy effect. So I'm going in first with the blue and then I'm going to cover that with the white um, and then I actually go in again with the Dawn power wash just to make sure um, our image is, is covered up as much as possible and then we're gonna go in with that white right on top um, for me I felt like it really blended in with the collage and really made it look you know snowy and icy and I think it turned out really pretty all right so now we're rinsing off the Dawn power wash and spray paint that was on there. This is what we're left with. And now we're gonna bring it inside and put it on the turner so that we can remove the tape that we had applied to the other side of the cup. Once we're done removing the tape, we're gonna just let the cup sit on the turner just to allow that spray paint to fully dry before we move on to the next step. So now the spray paint is dry and we're going to begin to kind of remove any spray paint that may have got on our quote image and I'm taking some acetone and some flint free um, towels here and I'm just cleaning off around that image just to make sure there isn't any excess spray paint that may have gotten on there. Since I also have the acetone out, I'm taking the time to clean out the inside of my cup and case any spray paint or anything got in the inside as well. So now I'm going to outline my water slide collage image using vinyl strips. I'm going in with red just because I felt like it would really bring a more Christmas feel to the cup as well as a lot of the characters in the image have red accent pieces. There's a red in Rudolph's nose, there's some red Santa hats, there's a red bow in the image. So I thought it would really tie the whole cup together if I use red. So now that we're done applying our vinyl strips, we can seal everything in one more time using Quake Coat from Counterculture DIY. And then of course, once that's fully dry, we're gonna seal everything in with our final coats of resin. 
So this is what the cup looks like and now that it is fully cured I wanted to show you guys what the cup looked like in different lighting So this is the cup outside in the shade and then the next clip is outside in the Sun And then the third clip is going to be showing you guys what it looks like under studio lighting I think this cup is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out and if you guys want to see Rachel's first impression of her cup when she received it and unboxing it then keep on watching because that clip is going to be entered right now hi guys my name is rachel tintel and i am the owner and designer behind the creative siren and i have to tell you i am so so excited to be a part of the secret santa and i i just got my box this morning which is perfect because today's my birthday <laughs> <laughs> um, and I am so excited when I saw the name on the label, I have to tell you, um, I, oh my gosh, I fangirled a little bit. So turns out my secret Santa was Chrissy from sugar and spice and look at this box. Like I need, I need to know Chrissy. I need to know where you got these boxes because this is right up my alley. This is gorgeous. So gorgeous. And her cute little tape. Look at that. I won't show you my mine and her addresses but her tape is so cute i'm so excited i'm so so excited i'm definitely geeking out i can't believe that chrissy was my secret santa okay so let's go ahead and like get down to the nitty gritty and open it up There's probably better ways to do this but we're just gonna tear into this Gosh, this box is pretty. <laughs> and I just use like post service boxes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with them, but man, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. So I actually like love the fact that Chrissy is my secret Santa uh, because I was her secret Santa. So we just like switched and it's the best thing ever. And this is so cute. I, oh God. Look at how cute! Look at these little hearts! That's perfect. I'm totally gonna use these for Valentine's Day. These are adorable. <laughs> Wicked Pearls Mix. This is beautiful. Look at that. That's so pretty. I might have to make myself like a polymer clay like cupcake and put these on them. I think it would be so cute. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, it's an absolute honor to be able to create a Tumblr for you. I hope it does you justice. I remember you mentioning that you loved Christmas claymation and that's why I chose this design. Misfit Squad! Because you are truly one of a kind. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my god. Okay. By the way, this purple is so pretty. It matches the pink <laughs> that I sent you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're gonna open this. Oh my gosh, oh, I didn't even see this one. This guy was hiding in here. Look at all these jacks. <gasps> I love it. Oh, I can't wait to use that next year for Halloween. Look at that. All these Jack Skellingtons, these are so cute. He was just being sneaky hiding in over there. Okay. Such pretty paper. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's so cute. I love it. I really do. I love, I'm such a sucker for the old school claymation, like Christmas um, specials. I play them all year long and my kids get really sick of it, <laughs> but I love it. This is so pretty. Thank you so much, Chrissy. I'm so excited. This is like literally the best birthday present. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. That's 
quite the like collage of all of them in there. I bet that was a hard image to find because you've got literally all of them in there. And the Yeti. I always liked him. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Chrissy. I really, really appreciate it. And I really, truly, wholeheartedly love it. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you have a really fantastic holiday. Um, thank you so much for making this for me. And thank you to Taylor from Duncan's Custom Creations for inviting me to do this because this really was like the coolest experience ever. I really enjoyed doing Secret Santa and I can't wait for the next collab. So I'll catch you guys later.